Hey guys, so this video I'm going to show you guys how to make a hamburger dip and it is freaking delicious. It is so easy. You can make a bunch of it and a little bit goes a long way and it's great for like if you have people over or a special occasion or something like that. It is an awesome thing to have. My whole family loves it. We make it all the time and it's very, very popular. So I figured I would show you guys how I make my hamburger dip and um, yeah, don't mind the clutter that's all over my counter. I'm like making multiple things right now. I'm cooking a bunch of stuff, so I have stuff spread everywhere all over my counter. But um, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and get into it, and I'm going to show you guys how I make my hamburger dip. You want to cook ground beef, season it to your liking. Um, I actually cooked a five pound batch of hamburger because I'm making this batch, I'm making another batch, and then I'm making more stuff with the hamburger. So um, this is only like half of it. So, once you do that, you want to take cream cheese, and this is like a whole block of it, and you're going to dump it in. You want to do this while the hamburger is hot because it helps melt the cream cheese, and you basically just want to break it up, and you want to mix it in very well with the hamburger. So, I'm going to mix it in, and then I'll come right back. Okay, so once you start in the cream cheese, it will kind of look like this. You want to make sure it's mixed in with all the hamburger. You don't want to have any hamburger that's not mixed with cream cheese. You want the cream cheese to be throughout the whole entire ground beef. So, next after that, you're going to take salsa of your choice. I prefer medium. You can use hot. You can use mild. You can use whatever. And you basically want to pour this enough just to kind of layer the top. I might use this whole jar. I'm not sure. Yep, I'm going to use it. This is a 15 ounce jar. So then once you do that, you just want to, you don't want to mix it throughout. You just want to kind of layer it on the top of the hamburger where the cream cheese is. You just want to layer it throughout like so. Doesn't have to be like perfecto or anything, but you just want to make sure it's just fully on the top very, very well. So then it'll look like that. There's like a clump of cream cheese. So then it will look like this. And next what you want to do is I usually just use cheddar cheese, but since I don't have a whole bunch, I'm actually going to mix it with some mozzarella. So I'm going to sprinkle some cheese on the top. You want to coat the top. You do not want to see like the salsa at all. You want to cover it in cheese. And I know this is not the healthiest meal, but I'm telling you guys, it is so freaking amazing. So it's good to have every once in a while. So I'm going to put the cheese on and I'll come back and show you guys what it looks like. So then this is what it should look like. Like I said, I usually use just cheddar, but I don't have enough. So I mixed it with some mozzarella, which is also very yummy. So this is what it would look like. And then you want to preheat your oven. Um, I usually cook it on 380 just because I like to cook it slow. I don't want to overcook it and then it burn and all that stuff. So I put it at 380 degrees, 380 degrees, stick it in, and you just want to cook it for a few minutes until the cheese is fully melted and it starts to brown on the top. And that's how you know when it's ready. And then you take it out and you serve it with Tostito chips. And I'll show you guys what that looks like when it is 100% done. So this is what it looks like when it is done. I just kind of browned the edges, the cheese is melted. And basically what you can do is you just cut the square of it off, you put it on the plate, and you eat it with Tostito chips. I'll show you guys. So this is what it looks like. You just serve it with some Tostito chips. You just take it and scoop it. I'm trying to do this with one hand like this and you eat it and it is freaking amazing so i hope you guys enjoyed if you like my cooking videos give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below if you would like to see more and i'll talk to you guys later